This is one of five holes being drilled into the upper Big Branch mine to vent a toxic mix of methane and carbon dioxide and allow the rescue effort to resume. And the rescue teams are prepared. They've been, they're charged up, ready to go. And uh, they, they'll go in a moment's notice. Officials are now focused on three of the five drill sites, all 1,100 feet down, where the lethal gas is being vented. Two sites are near an airtight refuge center stocked with enough food and water to last four days, where they hope to find three miners. They believe the fourth miner is no more than 1,000 feet away, near the third drill site. We're hoping if someone had the ability, and we have no way of knowing this, to get to that chamber. That's, that would be the only way that any individual could survive. There's no other way. Access to the missing miners is reportedly not a problem. It's only the toxic gas, not debris, preventing the rescue teams from returning to the mine. Uh, the sliver of hope that we have, could someone have withstood and, and managed not to get caught into the blast? Could somebody have gotten in a chamber? We've got to, that's that sliver we're hanging on to. Ricky is the one they have not accounted for, have not found. Krista Bryant believes her 50-year-old cousin, Ricky Workman, is one of the four missing miners. A father of three, grandfather of six, Workman's MySpace page carried poignant messages of hope today. I know you're okay, Daddy, wrote his daughter. You promised to walk me down the aisle. Until we see that they're gone, then we face it. You know, we don't stand here, oh my God, he's daddy, daddy, dad, you know, we don't do that. So far, attempts to communicate with anyone who might be alive in the mine have been unsuccessful. Rescue workers have banged on the pipes, but report no sounds coming from inside the mine. Let me tell you about West Virginia. These guys, they survive. We're survivors. Kevin Lambert was getting ready to start his shift when the explosion occurred Monday. Typically tough, he hopes to get back to work before week's end. Gotta have a call. Gotta have it. What are they going to do, put a windmill up in my yard? It ain't going to happen. we got to have coal. An update on the two miners who survived the explosion on Monday and are now in local hospitals. One is in stable condition, the other remains critical. Maggie? Jim Axelrod in West Virginia. Thanks, Jim.